good job this year. 1,800 here in the last home playoff game as this pitch is outside, gets away. Here comes the runner, score, and he is safe. All the runners advance to base. Trey Donald comes home. And what will likely be a wild pitch. From the stretch, Galani deals. So we got a hot hit, ground ball, right side. A scoops off the glove of Keller. Here comes one run to score. Anderson being waved home. The throw is not made. And the new Gork goals lead 3-0 here in the first inning. Is a hot hit ground ball right side. It bounces off the glove of Darius. Will bounce up the first baseline. Here comes Robinson. He will be waved home. No throw into third goes Winger. And the Gulls lead it four to nothing. After extending a fielder's choice, this one's lined to right field for the base hit. An RBI single for Steve Anderson gives the Gulls a five to nothing lead. Moving up to second base is Ben Roberts. But it's four for nine. To me, three for eight in the first round. This one's flown out to right field by O'Hare and going back is Robinson. Robinson at the base of the wall will make the catch. Darris has to scamper back into first base and he's doubled up at first base. Timmy Robinson doubles up Nico Darris. Base is loaded from the stretch. The 3-2 pitch, the runners go. It's swung on and missed, strike three. <laughs> Rosencrantz goes down swinging. Ferguson got him on a breaking ball. Cox is swung on a ground ball chopper towards the shortstop. Up with it is done. He throws the English at second for the force out that retires the side and ends the game. And the Newport Gulls have won their 10th straight game, their third straight postseason game. And Newport takes the 1-0 series lead with a 5-1 victory here versus the Mystic Schooners in game one. The Gulls. We'll look for the elimination game against the Schooners tomorrow on the road at Fitch High School Field in Mystic as Newport wins it here tonight behind another consecutive game of strong pitching as just one run across here for the Schooners, five for the hard-hitting Newport Gulls offense, and Newport wins game one, five to one, the final score. Wooded area. Getting entangled. 2-1 pitch, this one could be playable down the right field line, it's gonna hook Fair and drop in fair territory. Bounce towards the bullpen. Being way Thomas Keller. Here comes the throw to the plate. It is not in time. And it's going to be an RBI double for Nico Darris. And the Schooners jump out to a 1 0 lead here in game two in the fourth inning. First pitch to Robinson. Curveball. This one's lined up the middle. And that'll drop in for a base hit. One run is in. Being waved home is Roberts. The throw to the plate goes off the rubber and goes over Kennedy's head. Goins got it. He throws to third. O'Haran's tag is in time to get. Two, three, four batters. This one's skied to left center field. Going out is Keller coming over is Cipolla. And that one's going to drop in one hop the fence. An RBI double for Brett Winger scores Timmy Robinson. And the goals four, now have a three to one lead. Timmy this Robinson. offense has come alive here in the eighth. Base is empty, two outs. Holland swings. This one's grounded to the right side. It'll be fielded by Anderson. He's going to run to the first base bag and step on the bag to send the Newport goals to the any CBL championship series for the second straight season score, where the goals will look to defend the their any CBL two, title, three, picking up the three to win, three to one win one. over the Schooners and the two to nothing Newport series win sweeping the Schooners NCAA here in the East Division the second, Championship second Series. Season. There's a ground ball that was bounced to Anderson. He took it himself to the bag, and the Newport Gulls for back to back seasons are champions of the any CBL East Newport wins their ninth division title in team history, and the Gulls are going back to the championship to defend their 2012 Pay Vincent Cup win. Newport will be off tomorrow, and then awaits Keene or Vermont on Saturday at Cardines Field. Gulls win as they win their 11th straight game, fourth straight postseason game, and the Newport Gulls are the 2013 NECBL Eastern Division champions.